Okay, my name is Obia Julo Dundo. I'm about some presentation from my university. Um, I will start with some geography. What happens? Sorry. Yes, this is where I'm coming from. I'm coming from northern part of Norway, and my university will have uh, five campuses. I just want to show you so how the university justifies. And um, we started using OGS in 2004. Troy, I don't know many of you. I've seen a lot of new faces here. So when we started it, there was only a few people who attended Vancouver conference. And uh, we have uh, 15 uh, publication channels. And uh, because of uh, we have different type of publications, we have some challenges and, uh, and we find out how to solve it. And, uh, uh, because uh, we, felt, we felt that OGS has uh, some limitations, and the, especially in the templates, and we have to make some redesign and modify certain things in OGS and to suit our needs. And uh, we use the HTML style sheets, and uh, it's responsive. And we are, talk we are talking of uh, uh, OGS 2 version, but we are moving it to 3, and we are doing the same thing. And the, one of the challenges we have is, uh, you know, thematic organization of articles in a journal or in a journal section. And uh, we came up with an idea what we call fake me metadata uh, only so that uh, we can uh, organize the articles in, in a section. I just want to show you part of it. You see, there must be a lot of articles there and we want to organize it in thematic and uh, this is what we came up with. And the problem is there is that uh, when we do such a thing, what we call the fake data, some harvester is harvesting on our site and uh, we get it, which is not very, very good. So we have to find a way of doing it so that they will not harvest it. So that's what we are doing for the meantime, but we are trying to find a way to solve the problem. And we have journals that they would like to you know, to upload the videos and they would like it to be streamed and to reside in, uh, in our journal system. And uh, today we have all these uh, videos in, in another platform, but we want it to reside, as I said, in, uh, uh, in our OGS. So we are planning, we have started doing the job, you know, trying to create some uh, special formulated links in our HTML. Uh, to refer to these supplementary files. Uh, we are also planning, or we have started it, you know, creating a plugin that will permit direct presentation of videos that are uploaded in our, uh, just in, uploaded as an article. So, but we are moving to OGS3, and we are going to do the same job. So if any of you have done it already, so just give me a tip. So, and uh, we have some, um, uh, interactive exercise, we have some um, journals that um, uh, we have already developed uh, Java-based uh, um, exercises that we would like to integrate in OGS. And, uh, we have not done it, but we are finding, we are looking for a solution how to integrate it in OGS or also write maybe a plugin to do the job or to the function. And today, we have installed OGS 3.0 to, and uh, we are customizing it, and uh, we are waiting for no completion of Norwegian language package. Uh, this, they have not finished it. There are some groups do doing the job, so it has taken a long time. And we hope before the end of this year that we be upgraded to our production server will be upgraded to OGS, uh, probably 3.1 coming soon. And uh, that's what we are doing. Thank you for listening.